Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to A Winner Is You. Just wanted to um, show you something pretty cool. As everyone under the sun knows by now, Arcade 1UP has been releasing these incredibly expensive arcade units with the lowest amount of games I've ever seen. Like three or four games for $400, $300, and it's it just blows my mind that they're actually selling, you know? Um, I just couldn't do it. I, I can't do it, so I figured, let me make myself an arcade. Let me build one from the ground up. Let me be as cheap as possible, as minimalist as I can be. Um, just wanted to play my games and get the arcade feeling, because that's what matters. If, you know, what matters is playing your games, man. There's a quick 360 degree view of the masterpiece that I have created here. As you can see, man, cheap materials. I got three milk crates. Just like, I just can't believe that I had this idea in my brain for so long. Like it's, this is about like four or five months of work, maybe even a year of work just to get an idea and how I, how cheap I can get this to, to, to be. Uh, so, you know, three milk crates, drilled together by drywall screws. A lot of the stuff that I have on here is either really cheap or free. The speakers were free. The 4-3 ratio monitor was free. It's VGA, of course. The shelf that I used to hold up the arcade sticks was free. But I did some research, you could get a lot of this stuff really, really cheap. Uh, I just, like my gripe with, I mean, no, you know, no ill will towards anyone that's gonna buy the arcade one-ups. They're great set pieces. But, you know, there are people out there that build their own bar tops. You know, they order, uh, you know, the DIY pre-cut boards and they build their own arcade system. I wanted to go an even cheaper route to get my experience. And that's why I did what I did. I just want to play my games, man. Like, play my games. That's what I want to do. You should too. You know, these things are pretty to look at, but... They have to be built to, you know, take a beating, man. Like, and I just feel like a lot of this stuff that's coming out is like at the cheapest quality, man. Like, the oh, I just can't do it. So I'm like, you know, let's build something that won't cost as much, but will give you that experience. So I figured all the materials that I've used work really well. I'm I'm really really happy with it. Like I've been playing this a lot, like a lot. See, I already got my copy of Marvel Superheroes. Mind you, I do have this game officially on my Sega Saturn. So don't come at me that I'm stealing ROMs and all that crap. I already got an official copy. So if I'm gonna have a backup, I'm gonna have a backup. That's just how I do. You know, I'm not here to judge on how you get your games. Don't judge me on how I get mines. You know, I'll have, I'll show you a, a, a room tour later on. I'm just, you know, trying to spruce up the room a little bit more. But uh, these are the materials. These are the, the, the pieces that I Purchase to construct this arcade system. Raspberry Pi 3. Got this from Amazon for maybe like $60 at the time, which is about a year ago. Yeah, now I remember, it's a year ago. Uh, it comes with the SD card and all that. This is a HDMI to VGA output um, unit. You need this for your Raspberry Pi if you're gonna get a four x three monitor. I chose a four x three because uh, it was free and these games are worth four by three. That's just, you know, 
you're gonna play the game, you want the authentic experience, you gotta get a four, three, ratio monitor. That's it. That's how you gotta do it. The speakers, these are the exact same speakers that I have on my unit. Insignia, laptop, speakers, you know. Uh, you could probably find a better speaker by now at a cheap price as well. Go ahead and do that. As you know, the they have to be at a certain size though. Like make them as small as you can so that they won't, you know, obstruct the monitor. Now, these are not the same exact brackets that I use, but you could use pretty much any bracket so you could get that uh, shelf built for your arcade sticks. I found these online. They they come in a set of four for like $6.99, Home Depot, Amazon. You know, you, you, you're gonna need that. So you, if you have brackets laying around as well, go ahead and do that. I'm just trying to give you guys a blueprint, an idea on how cheap you can get. Now, uh, these are not the same exact arcade sticks that I have, but these are on Wish right now. I bought mine's on Wish. They were $19.99 when I bought them. Okay? 20 bucks. Wish has a lot of stuff that you could find. It's gonna come in a little late, depending on where you are in the country. I get my stuff in about seven to 10 days, and I'm in Florida, so I'm pretty sure if you live closer to the west, you know, to the west coast, your stuff will come in a lot uh, faster. So that's just a you know basic view of uh, just you know what, what exactly what would you need you know the PC RK6 are the way to go. Try to get uh, a small keyboard. Don't get anything big because you're gonna want to put this down somewhere while you're playing. My brand is uh, the iPassport brand. You find that at Amazon. Mine's cost $14.99. You know, it has that nano receiver. Uh, this is the this is what's going to be the main controller on your unit. This is going to reset the game. The, you know, go through the menus, adjust the settings, uh, and play your other games, your other backups, the Super NES, Genesis, and all that. Uh, as you can see, right now I'm just doing a quick, you know, gameplay run through of um. Just some of the games, so you can hear the clicks and the button taps, you know, how, so you can just hear, you know, if, if you play arcades a lot, you could just hear the quality. You know, you get, you get, you get those snaps, you get those clicks. One thing I did notice that I have to work on on this um, arcade is the stabilization. Like, I'm, while I'm playing the game, the, 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 the unit is moving around a lot. I'm not sure if that's because the, maybe the floor in this room isn't leveled all the way correctly, you know? I, I, I really don't know. But it's always good to have a good stabilized unit just so that uh, you won't get, you know, thrown off while you're throwing Hadoukens or something like that, you know? All right, uh, I don't remember when I did this right here. Uh, ho hopefully I win, because I just record stuff and I just like, boom, slapped it, it's done. Oh, there we go, Shoryuken, all right. Oh, man, to do a super, like, I'm not very good on the RK6 and Street Fighter. I'm much better on the digital pad. Right now I'm trying to find a digital pad so I can play my Street Fighter anniversary for the Xbox One. But, um... You know, I, I could get down a little bit with the arcade sticks, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not Daigo on them sticks, man. No, I'm not. Yeah. All right, so let's see. One thing that I, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You'll have to also uh, make sure that you have at least four, plugs 
open, you know, open space on your power strip for um, the monitor the Raspberry Pi and the speakers. If you could find a way to minimize all that and use less power cords or whatever, um, you know, drop that suggestion in the uh, comments below. You know, I'm always trying to find ways to streamline this thing. Uh, always trying to, it's like, it's always, it's, it's never finished. But so far, this is what I am most proud of at the moment. You know, it's, I just, I just love playing with this thing, man. It's just really like, it feels great. All I'm missing is, you know, the, the quarter slot. That's all it's missing. Let's see, uh, some more gameplay here of Sunset Riders. You can see, you know, you know this is my favorite character, by the way. I just, the, you know, the shotguns is just, you know, just the the most. You know, ugh, that you get that. You get that feeling that you're in the western when you're shooting these shotguns, man. Yeah, okay. I I really like this version better than the Super Nintendo version, obviously. Uh, like the Super Nintendo, it's it's you know it's not quite there in the experience. It's a good couch co-op game from back in the day, but once I started playing the arcade, I just, I, I can't go back to the Super Nintendo version. No, stuff like that, look at the detail on that guy. <laughs> so yeah, man, guys, I really um wanna just really, really press onto you guys that you don't, have to always buy the latest thing. From what I've heard, the arcade one-ups have upgraded on current models that they already released, you know? Like the Mortal Kombat and uh, the Pac-Man units, they got them ch even cheaper at Costco. You know, they have them for like 179 at Costco. And the uh, LCD's been upgraded and they have a audio out jack so all the guys that bought the first run units who pay like almost 300 bucks you should be angry and I could understand why because these guys push this stuff out and then they don't it's like they never finalize it so you, you know your first run units I just Annoying to, 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 to just have now. So guys, you know, subscribe, like the video, share it if you can, and thanks for watching.